This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. So the Gemara Masechta Ma'id Katan, Adav Chavzayin Ma'id Beis, gives us the formula for the procedure of Avelos. The Gemara says, three days for Bechi, Shloi Shayamim Lebechi. And the Gemara says, Veshiva Lehesped, seven days for eulogy. Ushloi Shem Legeos Lehesped, 30 days for pressing clothing and laundering. In other words, the first three days one cries, seven days of eulogy, and 30 days one is prohibited to press one's clothing and to do laundry. The question is, this seems to contradict the opening of this week's parasha. The Pasuk says, Vayavoy Avraham, lespoid lesara v'levkaisa. And Avraham came to eulogize Sarah and to cry for her. First eulogy, and then crying. That's against the formula mentioned in the Gemara in Moed Katan. So this question is raised by Toysvis in the Toysvis HaShalem, page Reish Lamed Beis. He brings this in the name of Rabbeinu Ephraim. And he says, V'yesh Metarsin, there are those who want to answer, that when Chazal say three days for crying, seven days for mourning, for eulogy, it's not seven days after the three days of crying, it's the entire seven days. So the first three days are for crying and eulogy, and the next four days are just for eulogy, but seven full days of eulogy. So it is correct. Vayavay Avraham lispoid l'sarvel of Kaisa because the eulogy begins immediately. However, it would still seem to be difficult because if the first three days are for crying and afterwards we don't cry, but we can eulogize, so it should first say, Vayavay Avraham liv kais l'sara v'lispoida. After all, the first three days are reserved for specifically for crying, yes, for eulogy also, but after three days, you can't cry anymore. So it should say, first, Bechia. However, Toysus brings another answer in the name of the Yeshma Tarsin. Toysus says, Avram Avinu is coming from Har Hamoria. As we know, Sarah died because of the news of the Akedah. And it took him three days to get from where he was until the Kvura and the Misa of Sarah, which was in Hebron. It was a three day distance, it was a three day travel so by the time he got there the three days of Bechi were over so he joined the family in eulogizing for, three, for four days and then afterwards he cried for another three days because he was not able to have Bechi on the first three days likewise the Riva Parshas Chai Sara says on this Pasuk why does it say Lisbite the Sarav of Kaisa it should first say Liv Kaisa and then Lisbite again he says when Avraham Avinu arrived he arrived after the first three days of, of crying were over. So he made a eulogy with them, and then he cried over them. And says the um, Toysvis, so by the time the Riva, by the time he got there, the crying was over, and he had to cry afterwards. Interestingly, the Nitziv in the Hamagdavar says a similar pshat, that by the time Avraham got there, the people had already gathered around Sarah's tent, and he had to involve himself first in eulogizing, and then afterwards he was able to cry. Interestingly, look in the Natsiv's parish on the Shiltus, where he gives somewhat of a different uh, explanation. But the question we have to ask is, what does Taisus mean that Avram Avinu was coming from Har Hamaria? That's not what Rashi says. Rashi says, Vayavoy Avraham. Avraham came from Beersheba. So it's a stira. Did Avraham come from Har Hamaria, or did he come from Beersheba? By Yovay Avraham, um, Rashi says he came from Beersheba after the Akedah. The Pasuk says at the end of Ayir, Avraham went to Beersheba. Furthermore, if Tysus is correct that Avraham came from Avraham, if Tysus is correct that Avraham came uh, to eulogize Sarah from Har Hamaria, how far is it from Har Hamaria to Hebron? Look in the uh, Perush of the Ramban. Avraham, uh, the, the Ramban writes, Hebron was close to Yerushalayim. The Kaftar Vaferach in Parak Yud Aleph writes, from Hebron to Yerushalayim is a one-day journey, is a one-day travel. So if that's the case, if from Beersheba, if from uh, Hebron to Yerushalayim is a one-day travel, then why did it take Avraham three days to find Har HaMaria? It says that Avraham Avinu found Har Maria on the third day. So the answer is, the Ramban says that the mountain that Avraham Avinu was supposed to slaughter Yitzchak on was not revealed to him right away, and he was going Svivois Yerushalayim until Hashem showed him the exact mountain. So, uh, in that case, 
if Avraham Avinu was coming from Har HaMoriah to Chevroin, it's only a one-day travel. The Ramban says it's very close. The Kaftar of Farach says it's Mahalach Yom Echad. So the answer to both of these questions is there's no stira between Rashi, who says he came from Beersheba, and Toysus, who says he came from Har HaMoriah. And this would explain why it took him three days, because in fact, Avraham Avinu was coming from the Akedah. But he didn't know right away that Sarah died. So Avraham Avinu went to Beersheba. Now how long does it take to get from Yerushalayim to Be'er Sheva? Yerushalayim to Be'er Sheva is a two-day travel. So Avram Avinu went from Yerushalayim from Hamriya to Be'er Sheva, that's two days. And then Vayovai Avraham from Be'er Sheva to Hebron, which is one day. So by the time he got there, the Yimei Bechi were over. So in other words, where was Avram coming from? Toysus is right, he was coming from Har HaMariah. Rashi is right, he was coming from Be'er Sheva. He went from Har HaMoria to Be'er Sheva, and that, which is a two-day trip, and then he went from Be'er Sheva to Hebron, which was a one-day trip, and that is why it took him three days, and by the time he got there, the three days were over, and Avram Avinu, therefore, Vayavai Avraham, lispoid Lusara, first the Hesped, and then Vilav Kaisa, and then he cried for Sarah. Wishing everyone a wonderful week. You've just experienced another Torah class, brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.